Hello students, welcome to my channel Shasar Classes. It's my pleasure to be a founder of the Evershine Coaching Center and help all my fellow and deserving students. In today's class, I'm going to teach you the chapter Light, Reflection and Refraction. And this chapter is related to class 10, Insert Science and this video can be accessed by the Karnataka SSLC board students, CBSE syllabus board students and also ICSC syllabus board students. So this video is applicable for all the boards and here we are going to have a quick recap and also the deep explanation about this chapter and the topic. Now, in this chapter, light refraction, and reflection and refraction, I am going to take in today's class, refraction of light. Dear students, before going for the refraction of light, I hope majority of you doesn't know the basics behind this topic. So, let me have some recap about some basics of this chapter. Light. I hope you have heard the word light. Am I right? You have heard the word light. So what is light? See children, light is a form of a ray. What is light? Light is a form of a ray that travels, that travels in a straight line. That travels in a straight line. So this is one of the property of a light. I hope you have studied this in your previous class. So what is light? light is a light is in the form of a ray remember light is a ray actually it travels in a straight line how the light travels children in a straight line this you should not forget because this word and this sentence is very important as we go in, uh, further of this chapter okay so what is light it is a form of a ray that travels in a straight line a light jo hai wo ek ray hai हम उसको क्या समझते हैं लाइट को हम रे कंसीडर करते हैं और कभी भी लाइट जो है स्ट्राइट लाइन में मूव होता है ऑलवेज लाइट विल मूव इन ए स्ट्राइट लाइन पाथ इट फॉलोज ऑलवेज ए स्ट्राइट लाइन पाथ नाउ सी चिल्ड्रंस नाउ वंस इफ द लाइट स्ट्राइक्स विथ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट और पार्टिकल ओके लेट वी कंसिडर लेट वी कंसिडर वन ऑब्जेक्ट लेट वी से दिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट let we say this is the object let we say this is the object okay ek hum ek surface le rahe hain you take one surface one surface to gona yaad adru one plane to gona okay so here if light strikes let we uh, strike the light in different ways okay if light strikes with any particle or any object let we say this is one object let we consider this is the object okay if light strikes with this what happens sometimes sometimes it absorbs so absorption will takes place what happens the light will absorb in this medium the light will absorb in this medium sometimes if you pass the light what happens it transmit it means it will move from one medium to another medium that is nothing but transmission will takes place transmission will takes place Sometimes if you hit a light, what happens? It reflects. If you, as soon the light hits, as soon the light hits, what happens? It reflects. It reflects. That is nothing but reflection will take place. Okay. जब भी एक light का जो ray है, एक light का जो ray है, एक object के साथ में strike जब करेगा, जो उसको hit करेगा, hit करने से क्या होता है? Sometimes वो absorb हो जाता है. Sometimes एक medium से दूसरे medium को travel करता है Sometimes it will reflect, it will bounce back. It will bounce back. Understood? But it depends upon the medium, children. It depends upon the medium. Because in some medium, absorption will take place. In some medium, transmission will take place. And also in some medium, what happens? Reflection will take place. But here, these mediums will depends upon, this medium depends upon, on which object it is going to strike it depends upon what children on which object it strikes 
children this is the basic things what we will be using in this chapter so here we have different types of objects let me consider out of which one object we called as opaque which object opaque object okay and one more object we called as transparent object and one more object we called as translucent object translucent object opaque transparent and translucent see children i said you if the light has to absorb or reflect or transmit okay it depends upon this objects now what is opaque object see children for an example uh, you you might have seen your mirror have you seen the mirror okay aapke jo ghar mein mirror hai aap usko dekhe nim mane na len kanadi ide mirror en ide now daily en nodtivi now okay uh, that that mirror i am speaking if you see if you see that mirror okay the back side of this mirror the back side of this mirror is silver coated right it is silver coated now how the object is visible here now how the object is seen okay how the object is here same object will be visible here correct no children this is called as opaque object understood we can see we can see our reflection we can see our reflection it means here the, here we can see this type of objects we called as opaque object where it is showing our own image okay and next transparent object transparent is nothing but example you take a water bottle you take one water bottle okay and here and from here you pass a, a beam of light if you pass a beam of light what happens as you can see the beam of light it looks like this the light will fall on this wall like this it means it is allowing the light to flow through it sorry it is allowing the light to pass through it it is allowing the light so this type of objects we called as transparent jab aap water bottle samne rakhe hain to idhar se aap ek side se jab aap light usme se pass karenge to light kya hota hai dusri jagah pe pahunchta hai one kade in the new light another another torch hai to gade one water bottle to gade torch on made okay water bottle me la ke aava gena gote light one kade in the innon kade move agote anta objects ke nel tive transparent object understood now same way you take the oil have you seen the oil can yes oil here what i am taking oil okay now if we pass the light what happens if you pass the light from here it will not allow to move in this direction means it doesn't allow the light to it doesn't allows the light to pass through it here the light will not flow it doesn't flow or it doesn't allow it doesn't allow the light to pass through it i hope you have understood the different types of objects opaque object transparent object and translucent translucent in opaque object we can see our own image in transparent it allows the light in translucent object the light will not move the light will not move so these are the three different types of objects okay now come back to the main topic what we are discussing in today's class that is example let me to take one small example children this topic is very important as what i am going to teach you now you should know this okay you should know these things <laughs> i hope you people are understanding this class what i am teaching you all i am right good children now as you can see <laughs> um, i have taken let me consider this let me consider this part as a plane mirror what is this it's a plane mirror okay see children i am just giving one small example i am taking one plane mirror <laughs> okay now what i will do i will pass a ray of light okay अब देख रहे हैं हम एक लाइट को क्या कर रहे हैं बेटा इसके ऊपर पहुंचा रहे हैं वी आर जस्ट स्ट्राइकिंग ए बीम ऑफ लाइट ए रे ऑफ लाइट ओके ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द प्लेन मिरर ओके एक प्लेन मिरर के ऊपर हम क्या कर रहे हैं एक लाइट को इंसिडेंट कर रहे हैं मतलब कि उस पर डाल रहे हैं पास कर रहे हैं 
understood once if it hits this object okay this point where it's striking can you see this a ray of light when it strikes the plane mirror this point we call it as this point we call it as point of incidence this point is called as point of incidence remember when a ray of light when a ray of light when it strikes the object or when it strikes the plane mirror understood that point we call it as what we call that point as point of incidence understood now once if it hits this surface it will bounce back what it does it bounces back understood now let me say a b okay a b is a ray of light where it is striking the mirror it is striking the mirror then what happens b c is the ray which is bouncing back so here we call this a b line or a b ray as incident incident ray the uh, i mean the ray which is bouncing back this ray we called as reflected ray this we called as reflected ray understood now here we can see this will bounce back and here we are going to draw and here we are going to draw a perpendicular line here we are going to draw a perpendicular line understood perpendicular to point of incidence this ray this line is called as normal ray this ray we called as normal ray understood the angle between the normal ray and the incident ray is known as angle of incidence the angle between reflected ray to the normal is called as reflected ray we called as reflected ray now again i am going to teach you the same thing okay as you can see here let me let me see here as you can see first what we did again i am repeating this you have understood that uh, till that point right yeah now we can see here what i mean to say now here let we take a plane let we take one plane surface what i will do now as you can see i am going to take a ray of light okay as you can see the ray of light is striking this surface at this point at this point now this ray of light is known as incident ray as i have said you earlier this is incident ray okay now once if this ray of light hits here then what happens some part of the light will reflect some part of the light will reflect and still some more part of the light will absorbed will absorbed and it will move from one medium to another medium it will absorb here as you can see it will transmit here okay i am telling you once again let we take 100% of the light we have incident on this plane okay on this plane that is incident ray out of which the light which is bouncing back let we say that is around 90% 90% of the light has reflected still another 10% of the light will what happens it will absorb what happens it will absorb or it will get transmitted it will get transmitted understood so here this ray this ray we called as refracted ray what is this ray this ray we called as refracted ray and this ray we called as reflected ray reflected ray okay when the light is moving from one plane to another plane or from one medium to another medium this is one medium this is another medium let me say this is first medium this is our first medium and this is our and this is our, this is first medium and this is second medium okay when the light is moving from one medium to another medium what happens some part of the light will get reflected and some more part of the light will get refracted understood and this is the plane or this is a ray which is called as normal ray this is the ray we called as normal 
ray. This normal ray always it will be perpendicular to point of incidence. Always it will be perpendicular to the point of incidence. Any doubts? I hope you have understood. If you want me to explain once again, I can teach you. As you can see here, this is the surface. This is the plane. Let me say. This is a plane. Okay. Now you can see what I did. I have passed a ray of light on this surface. So what happens? Some part of the light will get reflected, and still more some part of the light. What happens? It will get refracted. So this is called as refraction. So the phenomena in which the phenomena in which, or else you can say. the phenomena that when light travels from one medium to another medium then it changes its direction then it changes its direction is known as refraction of light here if they ask you the question what is refraction what uh, what will you say the answer children what is refraction can you tell me so refraction is a phenomena of bending of light what is refraction it is a phenomena of it is the phenomena of bending of light bending of light as it as it passes from as it passes from one medium as it passes from one medium to another medium this is known as refraction of light this is known as refraction of light are you understanding here the main important word is what bending understood so the bending of light understood the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another medium that is known as refraction of light children the bending of light can takes place in two ways so this is very 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 important so do remember based on this topic you can expect the question in your board exam remember based on this topic you can expect one question in your board exam so bending of light <laughs> the light is bending okay as you can see here the bending of light will takes place will takes place in two ways in how many ways bending of light will takes place in two ways but majorly it depends upon what majorly the bending of light jo bhi light bend ho rahi hai jab ek light ko hum idhar pe pass kar rahe hain तो लाइट क्या हो रहा है थोड़ा रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा है और थोड़ा क्या हो रहा है बेंड हो रहा है दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड बेंडिंग ऑफ लाइट कैन यू सी दिस दिस इज नोन एज बेंडिंग ऑफ लाइट नो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ लाइट इंस्टेड ऑफ मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन व्हाट हैपेंस इट हैज बेंडेड इट हैज इट हैज बेंडेड सो हियर सो बेंडिंग ऑफ लाइट विल टेक्स प्लेस इन टू वेज इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन वॉट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट बेंडिंग ऑफ लाइट डिपेंड्स अपॉन वॉट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन the medium this is very important word it depends upon the medium understood as before the thing i have discussed about object that is object remember now i am discussing about the medium usually we consider two types of medium usually we consider how many types of mediums two types i am discussing in detail and in depth so please remember this concept <laughs> as you can see here i am taking two different conditions now first what i will do i have taken a surface and i have taken the surface and here also i have taken one surface okay i have taken surface now this is my medium 1 <laughs> this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 can you see this top portion this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 similarly this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 we have two different mediums why because the light is moving from one medium to another medium now what i will do here as you can see when the light is moving when the light is moving this is very important you should not forget when the light is moving from let we consider medium 1 as denser medium which is this denser medium and here we consider medium 2 as rarer medium remember when the light is moving from denser medium to rarer medium how the bending will takes place how the bending will takes place remember this question 
if the light is moving from denser medium to rarer medium how the bending will takes place similarly if the light is moving from rarer medium to denser medium how the light will bend or uh, how the bending will takes place this is the question understood agar se aapka jo light hai wo denser medium se rarer medium ko ja raha hai to kis tarah se bending hoga agar se light rarer medium se denser medium ko ja raha hai to kis tarah se bending hoga arthu eta illi denser medium in the rarer medium ke now light ke move pass marte idivi illi rarer medium in the denser medium ke light pass marte idivi heke bending aagutte anta nodta idivi okay now children what do you mean by denser medium and what do you mean by rarer medium usually usually remember denser means water medium what is denser let me say water medium rarer means air medium if the light you are passing from water to air from water you are passing the light to move inside the air here you are passing the light from air to water here we are passing the light from air to water how the bending will takes place now we can see this is my incident ray this is my incident ray i have strike this incident ray on this plane okay now on this plane this is known as point of incidence this is my point of incidence understood from point point of incidence what you should do you have to draw a normal we should draw a normal this normal is perpendicular line this normal is perpendicular to this point agar se aapka point hai तो ये पॉइंट का एक्सैक्ट परपेंडिकुलर आपको ड्रॉ करना है ओके दिस इज माई नॉर्मल रे अंडरस्टूड नो वाट हैपन्स यू कैन सी वेन द लाइट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम डेंसर टू रेरर इट इज मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल इट इज मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल कैन यू सी दिस दिस इज माई रिफ्रैक्टेड रे दिस इज माई रिफ्रैक्टेड रे दिस इज माई इंसिडेंट रे this is my incident ray and this is my refracted ray this is known as angle of incidence and this is known as angle of refraction this is known as angle of refraction understood good so as you can see when the light is moving from in, uh, from denser medium to rarer medium what happens it is moving away from the normal let we say this normal as n n dash let we say this normal as n n dash as you can see when the light is moving from denser to rarer the light is moving away from the normal got it similarly as you can see here when you pass a light when you pass a light from rarer to denser this is my incident ray and let me say this is my normal this is my normal ray this is coming towards the normal this is coming towards the normal so this is my incident ray this is my incident ray and this is my refracted ray any doubts understood got the concept good and this lay this this point is called as interface this is nothing but interface so i hope you have understood now the difference between these two as you can see here when the light is moving from incident ray or sorry when the light is moving from denser to rarer medium as you can see it is moving away from the normal can you see this angle how much how much is the angle here understood as you can see here how much is the angle what is the angle of incidence and what is the angle of refraction can you see angle of refraction is more than angle of incidence understood so here we can say that away from the normal and here we can see uh, just a minute as you can see let we say this is my incident ray okay now you will get the difference for that reason this is my incident ray now as you can see this is angle of incidence this is angle of incidence now can you see how much is the angle of incidence can you see this what is the angle of incidence and what is the angle of refraction is it same no it is less than angle of incidence it is nothing but towards the normal this is away from the normal and this is towards normal so this is the major difference between 
when the light is moving from one medium to another medium understood if the light is moving from water you are sitting inside the water and you are um, making the light to move outside understood from water you are passing the light to air then it goes away from the normal if it is air to water then it is towards the normal so here we can conclude that here we can conclude that what it this is away from the normal and this is towards normal any doubts good i hope you have understood the question now one small question for you all what is that small question is as you can see here why does a ray of light bends you may get this question why does a ray of light bends we already know that light follows a straight line path correct kabhi bhi light straight line path ko follow karegi to isme bending kyu ho raha hai light kyu bend ho raha hai when we say that when light moves in a straight line path then how can you say that a ray of light is bends can you justify as children as you can see the bending of light takes place because velocity of light is different in different mediums velocity of light velocity of light is different velocity of light is different in different mediums in different mediums so this is a major factor this is a major factor it means that the speed of the light in all the mediums is different okay when you pass the light in vacuum when you pass the light in vacuum that is nothing but air then the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second understood can you see this what is the speed of light in air yes light will travels in this speed understood in case of water in case of water the speed of light is 2.25 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second if you take glass if you take glass then it is 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second is this clear is this clear children what is the speed of light 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second in vacuum or air in water the speed of light is 2.25 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second if you want to take in kilometer per second then we can say 200 into 10 raised to 3 kilometer per second and here you can take 225 into 10 raised to 3 kilometer per second just remember these values that is more than sufficient understood jab light ka jo speed hai har medium mein alag alag hai can you see this in all the mediums it is different so definitely this is the uh, this is the reason the bending of light will takes place if they ask you the question why does a ray of light bends understood so or they may ask you the question like this uh, give the uh, give the reason for the bending of light which takes place understood or they may give you any diagram here they may tell you that here you can see they will give some object like this kind of thing and see when we pass this ray of light understood here bending is here you can see that there is a bending now why it is taking place why this bending is going to takes place they may ask you the question like this just you have to give only one sentence answer because the speed of light understood the speed of light is different in different mediums the speed of light is different in different mediums or the velocity of light is different in different mediums because of that the ray of light will bends got it understood very good children if the speed of light in medium 1 is higher as compared to medium 2 understood if the speed of light in medium 1 is higher than compared to medium 2 then medium 1 is said to be optically rarer and medium 2 is optically denser understood children similarly the when you take the vacuum understood vacuum is an optically rarer medium as compared to air or glass 
then water is optically rarer as compared to glass or glass is an optically denser medium as compared to water got it so these two phenomena you need to remember i hope the concept is clear for you all so the speed of light is greatest in which medium you yeah, just you remember these things you no need to go so deep they may ask you only this much why does a ray of light bends you have to give the reason if not they may ask you the question based on this topic based on this topic understood when you pass the light from denser to rarer what you are going to observe or if you are passing a light from rarer to denser what you are going to observe understood so you may get this question and also you have to give the reason why the ray of light will bends why the ray of light is bends and one more question for one mark you can expect understood in which medium the speed of light is highest always remember the speed of light the speed of light is greatest the speed of light is greatest in vacuum in which medium children in vacuum medium it is more understood but but it is reduced in other mediums like water or glass if you compare to water or glass the speed of light is greatest in vacuum so as you can see the speed of light reduces in glass or water why what is the reason they may ask you the question why the speed of light why the speed of light reduce why the speed of light reduces in glass or water compared to air can you give me the reason why the speed of light reduces in glass and water why it is not same because because due to the electrical and magnetic properties of the medium of that property you take glass or water understood the electrical due to the electrical and magnetic properties of that medium due to the electrical and magnetic properties of of the medium of the medium i hope the concept is clear for you all is this clear children very good understood good and uh, i just want to tell you one more important point okay as you can see here as the speed of light as the speed of light understood increases what happens to its density can you tell me speed of light increases if the speed of light increases then what happens to density so density of light increases or decreases can you give me the reason for this if the speed of light increases then what happens to the density is do you think that any uh, proportionality is there between speed and density density or speed may koi relation hai is there any relation between speed and density of light are you getting my question agar se ek cheez lijiye iska speed increase ho raha hai to kya hoga uski density ko density decrease hogi या डेंसिटी भी इंक्रीज होगी जैसा डेंसिटी इंक्रीज होगा तो स्पीड भी इंक्रीज होगा या डेंसिटी डिक्रीज होने से स्पीड भी डिक्रीज होगा या वाइस वर्सा स्पीड इंक्रीज हो रहा है तो डेंसिटी कम होगी या डेंसिटी इंक्रीज हो रहा है तो स्पीड डिक्रीज होगी कैन यू टेल मी द आंसर प्लीज ट्राई टू फाइंड द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यूर एड आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस क्लास राइट चिल्ड्रन नो दिस इज वन स्मॉल होमवर्क वाइच आई एम गिविंग टू यू ऑल इफ द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इंक्रीज देन वॉट हैपन्स टू द डेंसिटी ऑफ दट not density of light what happens to the density of the medium what happens to the density of that medium what happens to that so you can just put your answer in the comment section thank you keep watching to our youtube channel shasar classes like this will be uploading as much as possible the deep explanation about all the topics and the chapters okay and do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel shasar classes once again and ask your other friends also to follow our channel and utilize the opportunity to learn with shah faisal sir if you like this class in the video click the like button and share this video as much as possible with your all friends and the admissions are open for the next year batch 2021 2022 in our coaching institute 
for further details you can see in the below description we have given the complete details thank you keep watching take care